do not tab through the vehicles while you're on the worker screen because it messes things up apparently. And in the meantime, I think I can press that button. Oh, this is not an easy. Well, I was going to say this is not an easy turn. This is a Zerian, which is big, but. It's four wheel steer, so it's actually fairly capable of making most of the entrances on this map. Oh, I did see some somebody else, I, not a modder I'm familiar with, has bought out a Zerian 2000 and 3000 model from the early 90s. I think that's the first years that the Zerian was built, which is kind of awesome. It's a very low horsepower tractor, very similar to this, but yeah, not quite as big, not quite as much horsepower, but still, it's, a bit, it's an option. Unfortunately, it's like we're in the final year of, probably the final year of uh, Farming Simulator 22, so... Um, I probably don't need it because I've already got 3,000. Was it 3,500? I can't remember. But I don't know what happened to the square. I haven't seen much in the way of any other um, mods that have taken taken my fancy. Okay, I'll get this cleaned and put away. I don't really need to put it away in cards. As soon as we sleep to November, I'll be getting it out again. But I've done enough contracts for now to, uh, to make a little bit of money. Pay off a thing. We've swapped out the uh, the Deutz, which was a plan at least for today. And um, do I need? yes, I do not need the uh, the big the big monster thing that's at the back there. That's the maze harvester. We don't have any. All right, that's one down. He's still going. Go collect some more bales. She says enough for three minutes or two in the like an hour. So as I said, the uh, the Massey Ferguson is going to be a fairly capable tractor on our farm. We'll be able to do all of the stuff that the Deutz does with the sprayers, um, but it has a little bit more horsepower to put it into the range of it can do all the same jobs that the Renault does as well. Although it's not going to be as cheap to run as the Renault is. What? So, uh... Go park in your room. No, you are not. Why are you talking of your sleeping? So I'm going to follow this guy around to at least help with the headlands. That way there's no bales at the ends of the rows. Um, I've had a couple of problems through a couple of the fields 
where it, it'll drop a bale along this headland and then as it's doing the rows it just gets stuck or blocked. Oh. So anyway. I took this week off work, so um, since I use the work PC as a uh, a Twitter monitor, well, I've got 60 emails, and it looks like I've got some tickets to uh, fix, which according to uh, metrics, I'm supposed to respond to within three hours. That's not happening. Because I can't respond to a ticket when I'm not working. And this time I really didn't work. Uh, sometimes I'll check in on my emails just because I need to check in on my emails at times. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. But um, this this week, I, I mean, I was, I was starting to come down with flu last week on Saturday. I was completely wiped out Sunday and Monday. Um, Tuesday I was getting over it and um, one of the guys from church came and did a bunch of contracting work around the house. So we now have a light in the stairwell because I didn't have the ladders to reach it and with my hips and back I'm not climbing ladders. Um, he cleared out the gutters because again he's got the ladder to reach it and I don't do ladders and I did get him a couple of uh, downspout protectors so we shouldn't end up with a ton of leaves or critters stuck down the uh, downspouts anymore um, he strengthened the railing by replacing the, uh, the top cross piece of wood and to be fair I mean the railings are probably about 20 years old and um, taken the brunt of weather so they're partially rotted through and I was I was concerned that um, falling against them would be a bad thing because you would probably end up on the driveway below but um, he strengthened that, so that's good. He built Mrs. Osa a clothesline outside, so she's happy too. And he fixed the AC duct work in the basement. So now I had to go and turn the temperature down on the, uh, the thermostat because it's not pumping half the hot air into the basement. So that should save us a little bit of money in savings in um, heating bills and cooling bills. Then we went out and bought lumber for one new planter. I wanted to, yeah, we, we went down to uh, Menards, bought the, the, where are you going? Okay, bought the lumber and uh, Mm. Okay. Uh, we've cut we, we cut some of it into length on site because I needed some 10 foot lengths cut and uh, the van is only 7 foot long so I had to cut them down so 10 foot length into 2 3's and a 4 and we got a bunch of those we got some more screws and we got some one by six, six foot panels to uh, build the sides up with. And uh, yeah, bought them home. Wednesday, my, um, my physical therapy got canceled because the physical therapist had flu, so yay. And Friday got rescheduled, but still had um, 
physical therapy on Friday. So all of that's done. It rained, I think, on Thursday, so I didn't have the opportunity to uh, saw the lumber to length. Plus back pain, hip pain, and whatever. I've pretty much been taking the entire week easy. Naps and and lounging, watching old TV shows and movies. So I haven't played any games. I was, this time last week, I was thinking, oh, maybe I could do all of these um, silage contracts and um, we can start this week with mowing the uh, outfields for silage and collecting all the grass and sticking in the silage bunker. But didn't do that, so. That's all fine. Full. But yeah, I still I still need to finish off cutting the lumber to size so that uh, Tina Josa can uh, paint it with um, wood stain protector stuff and uh, then I can start assembling the the planter itself on the deck now the thing is is it's it's there's still two weeks to the end of March um, I believe 21st so next week is when spring starts and as soon as spring starts Apparently he's planning to snow for a week, so uh, there won't be any planting then. There also won't be any assembly of uh, wooden structures and any other things either, so... That's a thing. That should be about right. Drop that there. So, contract on 31 is finished and we just got paid 30,000. So that was kind of awesome too. We go there, we have finished 31, let's get paid. We have not completed collecting and bailing field seven and because of that I am not claiming that contract because it will block us from collecting the grass and potentially collecting the bales although I have no proof of it won't let us collect the bales but then the only solution would be I could by the field that would eliminate all of the cut grass on it but should allow me to collect the bales on it but even so better to not do that than it is to do whatever we're doing anyway there's probably not that more many bales, that many more, more many, lots and lots, all the things, and the crazy words to collect here. Uh, yes. And I might do more of a thorough job with this field. think the button bounced so we got credit with picking up the first one but then it turned off the auto collect Still. and since we are um, on the last trailer I'm going to look at grass silage right there Bales Market is the best place hey I'm not complaining about that that's just around the corner
plus you get environmental bonus from the uh, the bales and the exports which you don't get from the BGA uh, this will this will put us up to about mm, 230 the end of the day. So what else been doing this week? Oh, Tom Pemberton's got himself a new uh, um, telehandler. On long-term loan, he's going to have it till the fall. And it's much bigger than the one he has. Although it's not as tall. It's about as tall. So it's a, it's a low profile um, telehandler. Which is good for him because he needs... He doesn't have the clearance to get in a lot of his sheds. It's also longer, which he's a little bit concerned with because... Um, yeah, that makes it more difficult to get around. But it does have an entire Christmas tree of lights around it, so you get full illumination, 180 degrees, or 360 degrees. It can lift more. It has a rear hitch so he can tow stuff, tow trailers with it. So if he wanted to collect bales in a field, he could haul the trailer out to the field and then stack the bales and then come home. He doesn't need another vehicle to haul the trailer out to the field. But he was saying he would have preferred to have the smaller one because smaller, but it's not as... Um, It's not as rich in features. Although it is probably more um, it is probably more um, less of an upgrade for his current Merlot. It's, it's closer to his current Merlot's, uh, not Merlot, um, what's he got? Manitou's uh, capabilities. And the reason he, you know, the one he's trying is longer is because it has a better reach, quite a simple, by about a metre. And obviously, if you want a longer boom, you have to have a longer chassis. Still, so he's going to have that for a good nine months now, going forwards. Which should give him a lot of opportunities to try it out. I can't think who else I've been watching. Not a lot extra going on, I don't think. Oh, and then this week I have I've got my last two physical therapy sessions. The last one is on Friday, and on Thursday I go see the back specialist. So uh, this time next week we'll have a lot more details on what's going on with my uh, back and other issues. I guess maybe. This baler's not doing a good job on this field. Hasn't been too bad on the other two, or the other four. What? 
Yes, I did start today very, very early. It's about 5.30, 5.45 I ended up getting up this morning. And my back is really bad. Which is why I got up. I couldn't sleep anymore, so it's just a case of, uh, I might as well get up. Because I'm not going to sleep anymore. And I can at least get some of these bailing contracts done. There we go. So, you went home. You did indeed. Let's um, pull that up. Clear the copy. Clear the current. And uh, start the engine. Page that down. Lower. Unfold. Come on. Good grief. going to look forward to when the uh, the farm stick gets delivered because <laughs> seriously this is uh, this is a big issue I don't think running down these rows is particularly advantageous I mean, some of them, two, uh, two to the right, that looks quite substantial. But I'm guessing, probably bottom line, there's one, oh, come on tractor. Maybe two more bales on this field. But really not anything that significant, which is you know, why I've taken to you know what, it's in general not worth picking up all these tread bits of grass. It's kind of worth doing the corners because there's a big triangle there that the mower won't pick up under course play, like this bit here. And uh, bit across the top and bottom even that we're 55% we're like I said not a great amount this, this is going to be fairly good but these little strands down here not really worth the, the time and repair I don't think they are. And of course, uh, an entire truck of bales is worth about forty thousand. So it's it's not that bad. When you're doing hay bales, it's you know what? Let's uh, pick one of those since we're going to the other end of the field. Pick this one. But yeah, it's. When you're doing hay, hay is so, so little value, it's, it's not really worth spending the time doing all of this. That's two. I'm going to take this corner because it's no, ex no access to the outside world. We can finish up on the field entrance. And Mr. Tun there. almost negligible so grab this bit there 
got some bits there that they look good but really not so much. So thirteen seventy nine. struggling here so uh, I think the days on the farm are numbered for this thing <laughs> 